Right. Ow. Ow, ow, ow. Let's see what all the fuss is about. New game? New? Chasing after wind, for in much wisdom is much grief. And he that increases in knowledge, increases sorrow. We've got a problem. I can't anchor him to the memory. Too much psychological trauma. He's rejecting the treatment, retreating. Desmond, I need you to try and relax. Let me try and stabilize. Focus. Listen to the sound of my voice. Recognize that what you're seeing isn't real. Just a picture of the past. It can't hurt you. Damn it. It's not working. Give it a moment, Mr. He'll adjust. The first time is never easy. We're losing him. That's enough, Mr. Stillman. We need to pull him out. Now. All right, Desmond. We're going to try and bring you out now. <laughs> Bit strange so far. <laughs> he just says button by. Okay? <laughs> I told you he'd be fine. Bastards! Now, now, I just saved your life. Saved my life? You kidnapped me. You strapped me into that thing. Animus. <clears throat> it's an animus. I don't even know you people. Why are you doing this to me? You have information we need, Mr. Miles. Oh. Information? I'm a bartender, for Christ's sakes. What do you want me to do, teach you how to mix a martini? We know who you yeah, are, that's... what you are. I don't know what you're talking about. Don't play coy with me. There isn't time. You're an assassin. Ooh. And whether you realize it or not, you've got something that my employers want. Locked away in that head of yours. But I'm not an assassin. Not anymore. Yes, your file indicated as much. Something about an escape. Most fortunate for us. What do you want from me? For you to do as you're told. The Animus will allow us to locate what we need. Once we have it, you'll be free to go. I am not going back in there. Then we'll induce a coma and continue our work. When <laughs> we're done, you'll be left to die. Truth be told, the only reason you're still conscious is because this approach saves us time. You're insane. So what is it, Mr. Mentos? Live or die? Lie down. I attracted. I press an A button. A wise decision. Whoa. Where am I? You're inside the Animus. Which is... It's a projector that renders genetic memories in three dimensions. Genetic memory. Seems you'll need a bit of a tutorial. Very well. We'll start simple. What is a memory, Mr. Miles? It's the recollection of a past event. Specific to the individual remembering the event. Yeah, sure. <laughs> what if I told you that the human body not only housed an individual's memory, but the memories of his ancestors as well? Genetic memory, if you will. Migration, hibernation, reproduction. How do animals know when and where to go? What to do? That's just animal instinct. Now you're arguing semantics, Mr. Miles. Whatever you call it. 
The fact remains. These creatures hold knowledge absent the requisite first-hand experience. I've spent the past 30 years trying to understand why. Right. Oh, it can move around. Ooh, hello. I discovered something most fascinating. Our DNA functions as an archive. It contains not only genetic instructions passed down from previous generations, but memories as well. The memories of our ancestors. And the Animus lets you decode and read these DNA files. Precisely. But there's a problem. What is this problem? This is the specific memory we're trying to access. Unfortunately, when we try and open the memory, your mind withdraws. You lack the confidence to step into your ancestor's body. That's what happened earlier. You got knocked out of the target memory and pushed back to a more stable state. Why? It's your subconscious. It's resisting. We found similar reactions among patients who undergo hypnosis to relive traumatic events. They can't jump directly into the specific memory. They need to be eased in. Even then, there can be problems. Fix it. We find a memory Ooh. you can synchronize with, and we move forward from there. You'll get used to it. This is the closest we can get, so it's where we'll have to start. I'm uploading the tutorial program now. Excellent. Stream unstable. Attempting to restore synchronization. Hello, Subject 17. This tutorial has been prepared in order to better acclimate you to the Animus's control system. Instructions will follow shortly. The synchronization bar represents how in sync you are with your ancestors' memories. If you ever fall completely out of sync, the Animus will restore you to your last synchronized position. You are currently dangerously close to desynchronization. Please follow all forthcoming instructions in order to restore system stability. Mm -hmm. The Animus utilizes a puppeteering concept to control the actions of your ancestor. I'm loading subroutines to validate your body's adaptation to the Animus. We will begin by exploring the default actions of each input. While standing still, use the head button to observe your environment. Doing it. Why is it not? Come on. What's wrong with you? Huh. 
to walk through these jar carriers without causing them to drop what they're holding. Proceed to the marker to continue the synchronization process. Oh, these but ah, these are ah. All well, the buttons are messed up. Ah. So B is actually Y. This is going to be really confusing. Well done. The animus differentiates between two fundamental actions. Low profile and high profile. Low profile actions are socially acceptable. High profile actions are more action oriented. Hold the high profile button to see how your heads up display changes the context of the puppeteering inputs. Right, which ones? Excellent. Stress around about the button. We will continue your synchronization process by testing some high profile actions. Grab and throw this individual onto the marker by using the empty hand button in high profile. To re assign the buttons. Oh, what's going on? What are you doing? Hmm. Right. Executive decision. Let's shut it down. Start again. Hmm. Well, that was a bit annoying. Indeed. Okay. Right. Come on. I've seen this. Or. R1 is button 5. Uh, A is button 1. B. Oh, no, it's not. A is button 0. B 
B is button one. Y is button three. X is button two. RB is button five, allegedly. Uh, hat switch, what's this all about? Okay, short blade throwing knives will be LB. Hidden blade, hat switch. Right, I'm running out of buttons here. Yeah. Uh, that could be. Short blade. It'll be up on D pad. Hidden blade. Will be left on the D pad. Sword will be down the D pad. Fists will be right on the D-pad. Right. Now we're getting somewhere. Hopefully, if this works. But. Who knows? Pan camera up and down. See, that's quite important. Why is it not giving me an option? Ah, okay, okay, okay. So target lock is RB. Map. What was button eight? Okay, okay. We get somewhere. Left analog is the map. Okay, that should be enough to get get on with. Hopefully. Let's go back. Let's see if it works. We can only hope. <laughs> I told uh, you he'd be fine. Bastards! Now, now, I just saved your life. Saved my life? You kidnapped me! You strapped me into that thing! Animus. It's an animus. I don't animus. even know you people! It's Why are you animus. doing this to me? Animus. You have information we need, Mr. I'm Miles. Alan information? 
I'm a bartender, for Christ's sakes. I don't know. What do you want me to do? Teach you how to mix a martini? We know who you are. What you are. I don't know what you're talking about. Don't play coy with me. There isn't time. You're an assassin. And whether you realize it or not, you've got something that my employers want. Locked away in that head of yours. But I'm not an assassin. Not anymore. Dumber. Yes, your file indicated as much. Something about an escape. Most fortunate for us. What do you want from me? For you to do as you're told. The Animus will allow us to locate what we need. Once we have it, you'll be free to go. I am not going back in there. Then we'll induce a coma and continue our work. When we're done, you'll be left to die. Truth be told, the only reason you're still conscious is because this approach saves us time. Ooh. You're insane. So what is it, Mr. Miles? Live or die? Lie down. Motherfucker. He's a got us over a bell. Whoa. Where am I? Look, you're inside the Animus. Which is... It's a projector that renders genetic memories in three dimensions. Genetic memory. You already Seems told me this like... Oh, not Very even well. five minutes ago. We'll start simple. What okay. is a memory, Mr. Miles? It's the recollection of a past event. Specific to the individual remembering the event. Yeah, sure. What if I told you that the human body not only housed an individual's memory, but the memories of his ancestors as well? Ooh. Genetic memory, if you will. Migration, hibernation, reproduction. How do animals know when and where to go? What to do? That's just animal instinct. Now you're arguing semantics, Mr. Miles. Whatever you call it, the fact remains. These creatures hold knowledge absent the requisite first-hand experience. I've spent the past 30 years trying to understand why. I discovered something most fascinating. Our DNA functions as an archive. It contains not only genetic instructions passed down from previous generations, but memories as well. The memories of our ancestors. Very good. And the Animus lets you decode and read these DNA files. Precisely. But there's a problem. Ooh. This is the specific memory we're trying to access. Unfortunately, when we try and open the memory, your mind withdraws. You okay. lack the confidence to step into your ancestor's body. That's what happened earlier. You got knocked out of the target memory and pushed back to a more stable state. Why? It's your subconscious. It's resisting. We found similar reactions among patients who undergo hypnosis to relive traumatic events. They can't jump directly into the specific memory. They need to be eased in. Even then, there can be problems. Okay. So how do we fix it? We find a memory you can synchronize with, and we move forward from there. You'll get used to it. This is the closest we can get, so it's where we'll have to start. I'm uploading the tutorial program now. Come on. This is where we find out this has worked. Data stream unstable. Forward. Attempting to restore synchronization. Hello, Subject 17. Hello. This tutorial has been prepared in order to better acclimate you to the Animus's control system. Thank you. Instructions will follow shortly. Thank you. Thank you very much. The synchronization bar represents how in sync you are with your ancestors' memories. Wow. If you ever fall completely out of sync, the Animus will restore you to your last synchronized position. You are currently dangerously close to desynchronization. Please follow all forthcoming instructions in order to restore system stability. Okay, the Animus on. utilizes a puppeteering concept to control the actions of your ancestor. <laughs> I'm loading subroutines to validate your body's adaptation to the Animus. Well, we know they're all right. Then. We will begin B by actually does exploring B. the default action Y actually does one. Input. A actually does A. And X actually does X. Excellent. While standing still, use the head button to observe your environment. Good. Use your empty hand 
to walk through these jar carriers without causing them to drop what they're holding. Proceed to the marker to continue the synchronization process. Oh, why'd you stop? There we go. There we go. Get out of the way. Move. Out of the way. Get out of the way. Move. Move. Thank you. Thank you. Well done. <coughs> the animus differentiates between two fundamental actions. Low profile and high profile. Low profile actions are socially acceptable. High profile actions are more action oriented. Hold the high profile button to see how your heads up display changes the context of the puppeteering see inputs. That? See. Excellent. Thank you. Do very well. We will continue your synchronization process by testing some high profile actions. Come on then. Grab and throw this individual onto the marker by using the empty hand button in high profile. Okay. Ah! Oh. That must have counted. This is where it glitched last time. Why is it bugging out? Why is it bugging out? That's annoying. What 